General Davis, Atlantic Missile Range Commander, has commented that 1962 was a time of transition at the Cape. A transition from missile development to space operations and space probes. There was a significant increase in the number of launches to place satellites into orbit and to send instrument packages to the far reaches of space. A practical application of space is its use in weather forecasting. Three Tyrus satellites were placed into orbit during the year. Boosted by a Thor Delta, Tyrus transmits pictures to Earth on demand. These pictures have contributed much to man's ability to understand his age-old nemesis, weather. During the summer evenings of 1960, a favorite American pastime was watching Echo, a balloon in orbit. Echo 1 proved the value of passive communication satellites. And in 1962, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration achieved a significant breakthrough in Project Big Shot. A 13-story high polyethylene balloon, paper thin, was folded carefully in the nose cone of a Thor Delta. Observers at the Cape watched the package hurtle over 900 miles into space, still sparkling at apogee like a new star. Cameras and television transmitters aboard the booster recorded the successful deployment of the balloon, following it down to the Earth's atmosphere where it burned. Satisfied with test results, NASA engineers looked to an early orbital flight for the big balloon. Near the tip of the Cape, at the south end of ICBM Row, stands Pad 36. It's bright orange gantry higher and shaped differently than the adjacent Atlas Towers. It's the launch complex for NASA's Centaur a 107-foot-tall hybrid rocket boosted by an Atlas and further powered by a second-stage liquid hydrogen engine. After a year of preparation, the Centaur was launched at 49 minutes past 3 the afternoon of May 9th. From these pictures, the experts learned the reason for the failure a metal surface between the stages buckled under aerodynamic pressure. An engineer will look at failures differently than the casual observer. A test flight that produces knowledge is not a failure. The scientific community has learned to look to space for some of the answers to problems about the Earth. An example is Anna a 350-pound, 36-inch sphere circling the Earth every 107 minutes, 600 miles up, flashing a light at designated times. Scientists of the world use the man-made star to improve mapping capabilities and to validate geodetic measurements. Anna, whose name came from the initials of Air Force, Navy, NASA, and Army, all participating agencies in the project, was launched into its near-perfect orbit by an Air Force Thor Able at eight minutes past three on the morning of October the 31st. 